Mattel began with the pursuit of the finest ingredients. We were determined to find the best raw materials to ensure the highest quality for our products. This approach, which is the essence of who we are at Ferrero, is known as sacco conosciuto. Now we have evolved that concept, never losing focus on, on quality, but also to bring sustainability elements of social and environmental performance to improving those sources. So the concept of Saco Conosciuto remains very important for us as we evolve as a company because it enables us to work on the sustainability journey of our supply chain in responsible sources. Currently, we are uh, close to Alba, where the story of Ferrero was born in 1946. And we are in Lange, that is a region of hill, as you can see around, uh, where there are many farmers producing uh, one of the best uh, quality of hazelnut that are available and uh, that we used uh, in, uh, in our product. Uh, you know that hazelnut is the characteristic ingredient uh, of the Ferrero chocolate brands. And so the company decided to put together all the activities around Asenad, starting from uh, agribusiness, uh, sourcing, uh, processing, and delivering to the plant uh, in a unique company that is present in uh, several geographies around the world. The Asenad value chain is a very fragmented value chain. As an example, Turkey. What does it mean, fragmentation in Turkey? It means that uh, from the farmer that normally has a small portion of land to the gate of Ferrero, there are several intermediates because the farmers are selling uh, to local people in the village and then there is a process of aggregation till achieve some big player in the hazelnut uh, industry. To start from our supplier and to go back down to the farmer is not an easy exercise. Despite that, this year worldwide we achieve 79% of traceability down to the farmer. And this is a great premise because to know where our hazelnut comes from help us in understanding what we have to do to help our supplier and help our farmer in becoming more sustainable in terms of compliance with the human rights guideline and also in terms of sustainability. In our sustainability strategy, we are always trying to continue driving forward in a sustainability journey. One that brings more justice and provides more environmental protection. And from, uh, from an environmental perspective, nowadays there are techniques like uh, geolocation via satellite that we use to avoid deforestation uh, from happening. And that is only possible because we know exactly where the sources are. Ferro is leveraging on technology to assure the traceability along the supply chain. This is absolutely necessary because the traceability activity is really data intensive. So we need to have a proper access to the storage of the information and we also need to use them efficiently. So, the good thing is that at Ferro, we have our processes already managed in a digital way. Like, for example, traceability and due diligence activities are digital based. So this is the source map platform that we use to map the location of where our raw materials are coming from. And this is a specific view on Côte d'Ivoire, uh, one of our main sources of cocoa. On this view, we can see the polygon mapping. So a polygon map is really the exact shape of the boundary of the farm where the ingredients we use are coming from. The point is to be able to see if those locations are not in protected areas like forests or national parks. 
As ferro, we use a lot of raw materials from a lot of different origins and most of them are remotely, so it makes it hard to have the visibility uh, on the traceability. And by using technology, it's a way for us to improve this visibility and traceability. Sizer <laughs> So since we know where our cocoa is coming from and who is producing it and which conditions, we can then see what the needs are and address them through our program supporting both the farmers to improve their livelihoods economically, socially, environmentally, but also supporting the communities to, in their community strengthening. We want to support the farmers in improving their cultural practice so they can get more, say, uh, profitability from their cocoa farm, which uh, starts with, for example, uh, you know, good pruning, good weeding, which is important for the uh, productivity of the cocoa trees but also helping them to diversify their farm. Because cocoa is not a year-round, uh, so it doesn't provide year-round, uh, say, income. So we, we work with the farmers in many ways, with trainings and providing also inputs, but also work in the communities through the work with our suppliers and also the work with, uh, say, the children, we can demonstrate that we can make that positive difference. Les enfants donc de ces populations euh, sont euh, emmenés donc dans les champs pour exécuter, pour servir une main d'oeuvre infantile, mais qui est aussi à bon prix et c'est une question culturelle parce que les populations n'ont pas forcément le sentiment d'être en train d'exploiter leurs propres enfants. Et elles ont plutôt le sentiment d'être en train de les sociabiliser parce que c'est une sorte de passage de relais, de passage de flambeau parce qu'il faut continuer d'exploiter la parcelle et continuer de nourrir toute la famille. L'éducation, c'est un droit. Donc, euh, euh, c'est déjà très important que les enfants de ces producteurs, de ces paysans, soient sur les bancs de l'école. Aussi, un autre bénéfice, c'est que euh, une fois à l'école, les enfants sont dans un environnement plus sûr. Aussi, un enfant qui est scolarisé, c'est un univers d'opportunités qu'on lui offre. Et en retour, il pourra lui participer donc à un meilleur euh, avenir, un meilleur devenir pour sa communauté d'origine. Bon, comme Bali. Personnellement, je suis très très fier d'appartenir à l'équipe de Save the Children parce que euh, nous travaillons quotidiennement et euh, de façon très inlassable, nous travaillons à apporter du sourire aux communautés, à apporter du sourire aux enfants. Et leur sourire nous redonne à nous aussi du sourire. Je suis passionné par l'opportunité que nous avons ici to improve the livelihoods of so many people across our supply chain. We have to save one planet uh, for us first and then for our business. I think what it's really important is that we don't only look at our own supply chain as Ferreo, but we really look beyond our supply chain and, and be part of more collective initiatives 
with other companies, with the government and civil society, because what we in the end, I think we want to achieve, is impact at scale. What excites me most about working in Faro is that it's a way for me to support a commitment for good practices, and I'm happy to contribute at my level to positive changes. Africa, I'm